Yes, come in. Next episode. Yeah. What am I, sir? Please sit. Thank you, sir. Yeah, introduce yourself. Good morning, sir. Sir, before I proceed, I would like to tell you it would be honor and proud to be a part of this institute. Sir, my name is Karthik Zanjadia and I am currently 19 years old. I am a son of Mr. Suresh and Mrs. Neelam. I am a keen observer and a fast learner. Sir, I have came from my hometown, Sonipat, Haryana, which was earlier known as Sonprast, but today you know it by the name of Sonipat. Sir, as far as my education is concerned, I did my class 10 and 12th from CBSE board from South Point 1 school in Murthal, Haryana. And sir, now talking about my family, I came from a nuclear family consisting of four members. Apart from my parents, I have one younger sister who studies in class 12. And talking about my dad, he is a self-employed person. He drives car in OP Jindal Global University. And talking about my mom, she is a homemaker. So also, I am a state level cricket player. And in my leisure time, I like to play cricket and volleyball. That's all about me. A PCM percentage? What is your PCM percentage? Sir, 71. 71 percent, okay. And uh, uh, your father, mother, you and? Who is the next one? My sister. My sister. What is she doing? Sir, she is currently pursuing her class 12th. Okay. Okay, okay. So, uh, why do you want to join Virgin Navy? Sir, I would like to begin this answer by sharing some light on the past two years of this pandemic situation. Mm -hmm. In this COVID time, it is distinctly evident that each and every profession was severely affected. Whereas I find the Merchant Navy to be the only profession working in its full swing, full swing. This motivates me the most to join Merchant Navy. And sir, also I got in touch with my uncle who is already working in Merchant Navy. He told me about the new exposure and the responsibilities we get at young age on a ship. And sir, also there are some basic factors which Merchant Navy is providing us like quick promotion, early settlement and more. So these are some reasons. Okay. Okay. What is Kirchhoff's law? Sir, there are two laws of Kirchhoff. First law is Kirchhoff's current law which state that the current entering the junction is equal to the current leaving the junction. Okay. And sir, second law is Kirchhoff voltage law which state that the algebraic sum of potential drops in a closed circuit is zero. Okay. Now what is Pascal's law? Sir, Pascal's law state that uh, any pressure applied in a closed container will transmit the pressure equally in all direction throughout the fluid if the effect of gravity is neglected. What is Wheatstone Bridge? Sir, Wheatstone Bridge is a device used to calculate the unknown resistance. And uh, what is the procedure? Can you explain me by using the paper and all? Yes, sir. Yeah, take take this paper. Take this paper and uh, this one. Okay. Use a year and tell me. Is that working or what? Use this. Sir, this is the Wheatstone Bridge. And sir, the condition for Wheatstone Bridge is sir, P upon Q must be equal to R upon S. In that case, what will happen? Sir, it is the condition for Wheatstone Bridge. Okay, yeah, that is the condition of Wheatstone Bridge. Yes, sir. But if P upon Q equal to R upon S, then in that case, what will happen? Sir, we can get the like the re value of unknown resistance. Which one is unknown? Sir, uh, there are uh, four resistance oh. and three of them are known no. and we have to find the value of one that is unknown. And sir, there is also a galvanometer connected and the sir, resistance is zero in the galvanometer. Uh, resistance is zero in galvanometer? Yes, sir. Or current is zero in Current in zero, sorry. Sir. Current is zero in galvanometer. Yes, are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay. What is radius of gyration? Sir, radius of gyration is the root mean square distance of particles of a body from the axis of rotation. Okay, and uh, what is moment of inertia? Sir, moment of inertia is the product of mass and the distance of particles. Uh, product of mass and uh, the distance of uh, to the square of distance of particles from the axis of rotation i is equal to mr square. Okay, what is Newton's law of gravitation? 
सर न्यूटन लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन स्टेट डेट एवरी पार्टिकल इन दिस यूनिवर्स विल अट्रैक्ट एनी अदर पार्टिकल विद द फोर्स डेट इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ देयर मासिस एंड इनवर्सली टू द स्क्वायर ऑफ डिस्टेंस बिटवीन देम ओके व्हाट इज द फार्मूला एफ इज इक्वल टू कैपिटल जी एम वन एम टू अपॉन आर स्क्वायर व्हाट इज कैपिटल जी सर ग्रेविटेशन कांस्टेंट व्हाट इज द वैल्यू सर 6.67 इनटू 10 रेज टू पावर माइनस 11 व्हाट इज द यूनिट ऑफ दैट सर न्यूटन मीटर स्क्वायर पर केजी स्क्वायर ओके What is the escape velocity of a planet sir the minimum speed required to move any object from the gravitational pull of an planet okay so what is its value uh, for earth sir 11.2 km per second can we create a formula for escape velocity yes sir yeah how sir the formula for escape velocity is under the root g m a upon r square okay Uh, what is the acceleration due to gravity sir the acceleration of uh, falling substance due to earth uh, gravitational pull what is the value sir 9.8 meter per second square and you read meter per second square okay listen why is sun rises from east sir it is due to the rotation of earth uh, on its axis Yeah, that is okay. But so again, why uh, why it is uh, appears from east side? Why not from west side? Sir, because uh, at that time the Earth face, uh, the sun is on the east side of the Earth, so that's why. That is why I'm asking. What is the rotation of Earth? East to west or west to east? Sir, west to east. Yeah, that is the answer. Okay, what is the second equation of motion? Sir, s is equal to u t plus half a t square. S equal to u t plus half a t square. Can you derive that equation? Oh, so is it? First equation, sir, v is equal to u plus a t. Okay. Uh, what is the equation of uh, straight line having slope m and the uh, y intercept as c? Sir, y is equal to m x plus c. And if the line is passing through origin, sir, zero. What zero? What is the equation? Sir, equation is zero, sir. Equation is zero. Is it y is equal to zero? Y equal to zero. Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay. Why uh, there is a time difference at different places, sir? It is due to the sir different time zones at different places, sir. The Greenwich Mean Time is set as the standard time for the world, mm -hmm. and sir, due it is and due to this, so we have different time zones and different places. So what is IST? Sir, IST is Indian Standard Time, and sir, eighty-two point five degree longitude is set as the IST. If if we are uh, using tube light in swimming pool, what will happen? Sir, the light will deviate from its path, uh, facing reflection. Facing refraction. Refraction. What is refraction? Sir, the ch uh, changing of path of light when it goes from one medium to different medium. Okay, so it is changing its path. Yes, sir. What is the one uh, thing, physical property, which is not changing when it is going from one medium to other medium? Sir, in refraction. Ah. Uh -huh. Sir, frequency remains constant. Okay. What is mirage? Sir, mirage is an optical illusion. Mm -hmm. Sir, in which the mirage is an optical illusion, in which the we can see the distant uh, images of the objects or sky. and why is it happening sir it is due to tir total internal reflection what is that total internal reflection sir if the angle of incidence in denser medium is greater than the critical angle mm -hmm. then the reflected lights get uh, reflected in the rare first rare medium and, and sir this phenomenon is known as tir what is critical angle sir critical angle is that angle for uh, uh, denser medium uh, sir critical angle is the angle of uh, refraction or uh, angle of incidence Oh, for ninety degree in denser medium. Well, sir, again, sir, critical angle is the angle is the angle of incidence of ninety degree for the uh, rare medium. Angle of incidence. So, what is ninety degree? Ninety degree is angle of incidence or angle of refraction? Sir, it must be ninety degree. Which critical angle must be ninety degree? Yes, sir. Angle of angle of incidence must be ninety degree. Angle of incidence must be ninety degree in, in rare medium. So that means critical angle must be ninety degree. <laughs> yes sir are you sure yes sir okay in that case uh, light ray is going from denser to rarer or rarer to denser sir denser to rarer 
denser to rarer okay what is the difference between longitude and lat latitude sir latitudes are the horizontal imaginary lines and longitudes are the vertical imaginary lines vertical imaginary and sir longitude tell us about the time difference of the earth and sir latitude tell us about the temperature difference of the earth okay and uh, which one is parallel longitude or latitude sir parallel are sir uh, latitudes latitudes are parallel yes sir what is equator sir equator is 0 degree latitude okay uh what is a sin square 35 degree plus cos square 35 degree sir one okay what is the value of sin 37 degree value of sin 37 sorry sir okay what is the circle center of a triangle sir it is the point where the perpendicular bisectors of the sides of that particular triangle intersect perpendicular and what is uh, ortho center sir sorry sir i don't know okay ओके सो यहाँ पे कंप्लीट कर रहे हैं कुछ चीज़ें बाकी सारा इंटरव्यू काफ़ी सही है इंट्रोडक्शन भी ठीक है पी वगैरह ठीक है वाई मर्चेंट नेवी इज़ आल्सो गुड इसमें एक तो इक्वेशन ऑफ स्ट्रेट लाइन करेक्ट था वाई इक्वल टू एम एक्स प्लस सी ही होना चाहिए बट uh, जब मैंने पूछा कि लाइन इज पासिंग थ्रू ओरिजिन तो जीरो हो जाता है जीरो होता है वाई इंटरसेप्ट यानी कि सी तो लाइन का इक्वेशन जो होगा दैट विल बी वाई इक्वल टू एम एक्स ये होगा ठीक है उसके बाद फॉर्मूला तो तूने ठीक बता दिया लेकिन साइन 37 37 एक स्टैंडर्ड एंगल है इसकी वैल्यू याद रख लिया हमेशा 3 बाई फाइव वो जो 3 4 वाई वाला ट्राइंगल बनता है ना उसमें बनता है 37 डिग्री 37 53 90 सेवन फिफ्टी थ्री ये बहुत यूज होता है तो इसलिए याद रखो क्या सर वैल्यू थ्री बाई फाइव हाँ साइन थर्टी सेवन थ्री बाई फाइव कॉस थर्टी सेवन फोर बाई फाइव ऐसा क्रिटिकल एंगल तूने गलत बताया है क्रिटिकल एंगल में क्या होता है कि एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस का जो वैल्यू होता है ना वो होता है क्रिटिकल एंगल जिसके लिए एंगल ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन 90 डिग्री हो जाए क्योंकि जब डेंसर uh, से रेरर जा रहा है तो ऑब्वियस बात है अवे फ्रॉम द नॉवल जाएगा तो जब तुम एंगल बढ़ाते जाओगे तो अवे फ्रॉम द नॉवल जाता जाएगा एक पर्टिकुलर एंगल पर क्या होगा कि वो नाइन्टी डिग्री हो जाएगा उसको बोलते हैं क्रिटिकल एंगल ठीक है दूसरा ऑर्थो सेंटर तूने बता नहीं पाया ऑर्थो सेंटर जो होता है दैट इज द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ एल्टीट्यूड्स नाइन्टी डिग्री पे जो गिरते हैं ना उनको बोलते हैं तो ये सब चीज़ें याद रखो ये कहीं पे भी पूछी जा सकती हैं ओके बाकी ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू सर